So Side Order DLC has actually quite a few unlockable rewards that you can enjoy back in Splatsville and in Copolis. Enjoying things in turf war battles and anarchy matches too. So in this video I'm going to be going over the biggest unlocks that you can get by completing Side Order and how you get them. To start us off, by completing the main story of Side Order for the first time, you will unlock this set of gear. This is called the Order Replica Gear, and you can wear it around Splatsville and Incopolis to your heart's delight. This is a really cool gear set, and this is the only way that you'll be able to get it. I don't believe you'll be able to purchase it off of other players that you see wearing it. So it's definitely a really cool reward to take back for completing the main storyline. Soon after completing the main storyline, you'll also notice that you've unlocked probably the biggest reward, which happens to be in Coppolis Square from Splatoon 2. Now, of course, we all knew this would be coming given the fact we got Incopolis Plaza from the first game. So here we have all three of them available in Splatoon 3, and it's so cool. You can, of course, enjoy the shops that were there in Splatoon 2, most of them anyways. And yeah, just explore this very familiar plaza from the second Splatoon game. Sadly, there is no Krusty Sean. We also have Merch, who is fully grown this time around, which does make a lot of sense, honestly. And some more up-to-date additions for Splatoon 3, like the clerks and such. It's just really cool to see, honestly. I'm really happy that we managed to get this reward. So yeah, this is something else that you unlock simply by completing the main storyline of Side Order. But wait, there's even more, because also once you've completed the main storyline for the first time, you will actually get the replica weapon which you used to run through that time. So for example, if you use the Octo Shot, that's what you will unlock as your weapon. And yes, you can use this replica weapon in Turf War matches and Anarchy battles. Now, it does have the same kit as the original weapon, that's something to keep in mind. But the coolest thing about this isn't the fact that it's got like a special kit or something, it just looks really cool. That's how the replica weapons have always basically been in Splatoon, that's just what they are. They're just for aesthetical purposes. And there are a ton more, which I actually made a whole separate video about, so if you want to learn how to unlock them, I recommend checking that out. But basically, you're going to need to run through a total of 12 times if you want to get every single one. Now, this is very spoilery, but if you're watching this video, you're probably okay with spoilers already. And this is the ultimate reward that you get from Side Order. It appears like once you have completed every single pallet in the locker, you will actually be able to get a pallet for the Octo Shot replica. Now, this weapon, which is from past Splatoon games, is a much beloved one. And you will actually have to complete once again using the Octo Shot replica so that you can receive it as a reward to use in Anarchy Battles and Turf Battles and such. There are also other things to unlock too, of course, in the shops and such, but these are the main rewards that you can expect to get. I believe there are also a few badges that you can get too, some for completing the prologue and others that you get once you complete the main storyline. Let me know which of these rewards is your favourite down in the comment section below, I'd love to hear. If you make to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more.